So, hi! Welcome to my video vlog about the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. And for this entry, I'm going to be doing chapters 25 through 28. So, we left off with Arthur being with Sting. With Slardy. I'm sorry, I forgot his name. With Slardy. So, he was about to explain how the Earth came to happen and how the whole experiment thing. So we, at the beginning it seems like we're starting with another part of the story, but no, this is a story that Slardy is telling Arthur, and that is that many, many millions of years ago, there were two uh, scientists, which I will try to pronounce their names, which is Lunkwill and Fook, who made a computer. This computer was called Deep Thought, and it, they made it with the purpose that it will be the greatest computer in the galaxy. So, they make it, and apparently it is an amazing computer, it is it can answer whatever they want the answer for. Uh, and so, they want to ask it, so they ask for the answer. And the answer is for the answer of life, the universe, of everything. Uh, so they want this computer to calculate the meaning or the answer for everything in our life. Which sounds pretty ridiculous, actually. Like, why would a computer be able to do that? But they will get their wish. So the deep thought says that, yes, it can calculate that. It can give them the answer. But it says that it will take, I think it was 7 billion, 7 million years. So it will take a long time for it to be calculated, and they would be long gone before it was calculated. So they thought, why would we do this? So the computer gives them the answer, and that is, you can make plenty of money out of it. You can sell the idea of if you're going to get the answer, so you're going to get, so you can do like, uh, advertisement and stuff like that, and people to come and see and do and you know, so just practically take advantage of people. And it also say that scientists or they were like philosophers were against this computer because if this computer could calculate the meaning of life and and everything, they wouldn't have a need for them, you know, because that is what they do. They question everything, but if they could have a computer that could just give you the answer to everything, there would be no need for them. So, they wanted to tear it down and, and destroy it. I don't think they succeeded in their plan. So, they will do it, apparently. And there was this, it's Lunkwink and Magic these were the ones who are trying to get in. Like, again, this part for me was very confusing. I still don't understand it 100%. Uh, I kept reading it, but I still don't find it. I hope that after this, I can read it again with much more patience and with more quiet and discuss it with other people who have read it so I can actually understand what is happening because... I'm pretty lost. Like, I am understanding what is happening, but I still don't feel like I am even understanding, like, 70% of it. So, I think reading it again would help. But that was just chapter 25, so we go to chapter 26, where it's, again, it's this. So, it's not much, but it says it's Arthur and Flory talking, and it's Arthur doubting what he's telling him, because he's talking about the story and how it has anything to do with Earth, but Slardy is saying, like, patience, you will get to know. So, Slardy takes him to, it's the uh, Senso tapes, so that he can see what happened instead of just hearing it and imagining it. So he takes him there, he plugs him on, and then they have this, like, uh, Arthur sees that there's like this concert, people with banners, colors, having fun, and apparently it's what they did. They did like the the, the whole advertisement for Deep Thought and having the answer to everything. So the one that is like addressing the crowd, it says, Oh people, 
who wait in the shadow of deep thought. Uh, seven and a half million years ago, our race has no seven and a half years out. Our race has waited for this great and hopefully enlightened day, the day of the answer. So it says that never again, never again will we wake up in the morning and think, who am I? What is the purpose of life? Does it really? Cosmically speaking, matter if I don't get up and go to work, for today we will finally learn, once and for all, the plain and simple answer to all these nagging little problems of life, the universe, and everything. So the day has come, deep thought has finally calculated what is everything. So we have Lung Kuo and po Pooch, Puchug. I don't know how to pronounce the name. Again, names are very hard to pronounce with the story. And there was Deep Thought, and so they're like, Oh, Deep Thought, what do, do you have the answer? And Deep Thought is like, Yes, I do. So they ask him the answer, and the answer to everything, to life, the universe, everything, is 42. Which, by that... One of them whispered to the other one, we're going to get lynched. Because imagine having waited for this day to get the answer of everything, and the answer is 42. Doesn't answer everything. Everything. It doesn't answer anything, actually. But the computer or deep thought tells them that if they get the question correct, they will understand the answer. So uh, apparently the question that they asked was not the correct one. But it tells him that there will be a computer greater than him, or them, that will explain this answer and will have the answer, finally. And it's, and it shall be named the Earth. So, we don't understand by this point if the mice were the ones who did it or what is happening, but we just know that the Earth is the answer to everything. But this is where it starts. This is how we end chapter 28. So, so far, again, really funny story. Just hearing about this computer who could answer everything and the answer to life and the universe and everything is 42. It was pretty disappointed. I would be disappointed too. So, I don't know. Let's see what it has to do and how that correlated to the creation of Earth, and if they did get the answer, I don't think they got the answer. I think before that, uh, when Slardy was talking about the mice, it said that the mice would be pretty pissed because it was too early for it to be destroyed because the the experiment would have been over a couple of years after. So, who knows? Maybe they didn't get the answer. And oh, before that, uh, before he gets into the Sensomatic, uh, or it's in so thing. Uh, apparently they're making a second Earth. So maybe that will be run by the mice or the humans. Who knows? But a second Earth is going to be made. And maybe that one will get far enough to tell the answer. So after that, I predict that we're going to find out what's going to happen to Zaphod and uh, maybe for them to meet again and. For Arthur to understand about Earth, and maybe know more about the planet, I don't know, again, by this point, I don't understand the plot, but I'm really liking it, like, I don't know, it's just a very confusing book, but I'll keep reading, and I'll keep finding out more stuff, so, for now, that is a goodbye.